My name is Marvin Bell. I'm an investment director at Meridium, and I'm also a UK trained chartered accountant. Prior to Meridium, I worked in the corporate finance industry in the UK, and thereafter, I spent several years working in and around the African continent on infrastructure, power, and non-power transactions, as well as private equity investments. I'm here 145 kilometers away from Addis Ababa at Tulumoye. As you can see behind me, Tulumoye is a pioneering 150 megawatt geothermal project aimed at supplying Ethiopia with clean, sustainable energy for 25 years to come. Meridium has developed Tulumoye alongside Reykjavik Geothermal, a leading Icelandic company with global geothermal experience. In developing this project, Meridium and its partner have brought together a team of world-renowned experts to make Tulumoye happen. Kenjen, Africa's leading geothermal operator and drilling company is responsible for drilling the 12 wells. In addition to the 30 people we've staffed in the SPV, we also have an international scientific committee of geothermal experts to guide the project on its key decisions around finding steam. And we're pleased to say that in August we found steam earlier than expected. Tulumoye's client is Ethiopian Electric Power, the national utility, which has signed a 25-year power purchase agreement, and the project is strongly supported by the government of Ethiopia through the Ministry of Finance. Signing of the PPA in 2017 made Tulumoye the very first geothermal IPP in Ethiopia, contributing to the country's ambition to become a renewable powerhouse and to create value from its untapped yet abundant geothermal potential. In addition to the support of the government, we're proud of the work that has been accomplished with the local communities here in the Atea area. Consultations and environmental impact studies were done right from the start to ensure that the community would get the sustainable benefits from the project. An ambitious development plan is being rolled out which will bring water and electricity to over 1,000 people in the area and local SMEs will benefit from a capacity building program. Seven DFI lenders are now engaged in the due diligence process for this project, which is expected to close in 2021. 